What's up guys, Gispy Jan here, we are back here on Undertale. In the last episode, we defeated Asgore and the nightmare known as Omega Flowey. This episode, we're continuing our way on the true pacifist route. So we're going back and going to befriend Elphys. So let's head that way now. Into the last corridor we go. Hey Sans, wherever you are hiding, if you're still in here. You're probably not. Oh well. Speaking of sands, we're gonna go check out his room. Let's take the elevator for a shortcut. And we're nearly at a new home already. Excellent timing. Yep. Keep it going and exiting stuff when I'm meant to stay in there. Alright, now we're back in the core. It is still awfully quiet. Where is some music? That would be great right now. The silence. Besiege. Crap. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, we've got some sound back at least. And music. Excellent. Alright. So back in the call. I got a phone call. Ring. Hey, uh. This is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea? Human! You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden, in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Click. Alright, let's go talk to Undyne first. Dun, dun, dun. Um, to the right is where the elevator is? Yep. That guy's still shocked and awe that I remembered his name. To the river person. Tra la la, care for a ride? Inside my boat? Yes. Where am I going, Snowden? Then we're off. I just completely done the wrong voice for the river person. Oh well, tra la la. Remember to take a break every so often. I just started though. And we're back in Snowden. Now, while I'm here, before I actually talk to Undyne, let's go check out this little thing I got from Sans in the last corridor. Hi Undyne, hi Papyrus. It seems Undyne has something for you. She's the person that's not me. Cool. And no one's in the house still. Alright. It's a painting of a cartoon bone. You unlock the door and enter. Just walking inside a dark room. Nothing going on in here. Oh, we got some creepy music playing. Or just sound effects. Hey, Sans! Have you seen my. Oh, hello! You aren't Sans! Wait a second. Why were you using the treadmill in the dark? It sounds pranking you across time and space. I hate it when he does that. How immature can you get? Also, have you seen my action figures? Wait, I know where to look. In my collection. Nyahaha. <laughs> Sometimes, I'm a genius. All the time. So, that's interesting there. Our sounds is pranking through time and space. It's a treadmill. There's a message attached. The truth is, you just got owned, nerd. It appears to be a self-sustaining tornado made of trash. It's a worn out mattress. The sheets are bunched up in a weird, crazy ball. Inside the drawer is a silver key. You put the key, you put it on your keychain. It's a thank you letter. It's addressed to Santa. It's a lamp. 
Turn it on? Yes. There's no light bulb. The flashlight is stuck in the bulb socket. Turn it on? Yes. The flashlight is out of batteries. Alright. Let's go check out where this mysterious key belongs. You unlocked the door and entered. Now, this hidden room. Let's have a look around, shall we? There's a strange machine behind the curtain. It seems to be broken. Blueprints. You can't read the symbols they're written in. Or maybe it's just the handwriting. Looks like they relate to some kind of strange machine. Oops, that says the same thing. You looked in the drawer. There's some kind of badge. There's a photo album inside the drawer. There are photos of sons with a lot of people you don't recognize. He looks happy. Alright, that's everything in that room. And how do I end up in front of the house? Eh, yeah, whatever. Let's talk to Undyne now. Uh, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Elphis. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... It's kind of personal, but... We're friends, so... I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Two Hotlands and Elphis. Let's see what this is about. Tra la la. Care for a ride? Riding a boat? Yes. Where will we go today? Hotland. Then we're off. Wonder who the river person actually is. Tra la la. Eat a mushroom every day? Why? Then I know you're listening to me. Smart ass. Alright, come again sometime, tra la la. Alphys's lab. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Yep. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Ah, uh, oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um... It's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey. If this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so... I have, I had no idea who could have, oh my god, oh no, that's adorable, and I had no idea you, uh, um, wrote that way, it's surprising too, after all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less, um, this, and so passionately too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make up, make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Dating, start. Ah, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. I, I, hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. 
Dating stop. Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection st statistic fast. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Yeah, uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, hey. Let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Alright. Is this gonna... Are we gonna do anything? Uh, do you like... Anime? Yes. Hey, me too. Hey. Let's go somewhere. But where is a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Last time I checked, that's not a good place for a date. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that's a good place. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really, uh, um, oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, oh no. Here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, um, uh, realized if you delivered that, if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Yeah. Have you at least seen her? Um. No. No? But she wasn't at home. Where the heck could she be? Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I uh, really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I uh, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm a royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll, she'll find it out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? No. No, it's not. Our truth where neither of us are. They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess up. How can I practice? Um, let's roleplay it. R roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be on Dine? Um, obviously me. 
Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> um, hi, Undyne. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something. What is it, Ulfus? Um, you see, I, I, I haven't been exactly tr truthful with you. You, you see, I, I, oh, forget it. Undyne, I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You'll always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like telling me that you want, you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take the... Is anyone? I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne. Hold me. What did you just say? Undyne, I was just. Hey, whoa. Wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, uh, we were, but. I mean, uh, actually, we were romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? What about? Well, uh, everything. I told you that, see, we, God, I'm not even going to read that. She's just not going to stop talking. I don't have time for that. Alphys, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys, Undyne, I... I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys, shh, shh. Alphys, I... I think you're really neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. And I, you, you're going to train me? <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> nah. I'm going to get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog 100 laps! Hooting... Wait, that does say hooting, right? Hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. And I... I'll do my best. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics... Those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? I don't want to break Undyne's heart. I do want to tell her the truth. But I'm going to spare her on this one. I'll tell her a lie. Even though I was just preaching never to tell. Uh, never mind. Oops. <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Elphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! And we're back in the garbage dump. Doom, 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 doom. 
Ring. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? This is Papyrus. Your also mutual friend. Elphis and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Well, that was strangely suspicious. Guess we'll get out of here and go back to Hotlands where Alphys' lab is. Riding a boat? Yes. Where will we go today? Hotland. There was a lot of traveling today. Tra-la-la. -la. Eat a mushroom. But you already told me to eat a mushroom. I was hoping for another message. Coming in sometime. And we will come again sometime. Because we are ending the episode right here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time where we go to see what's up with Elphys inside the lab.